Hi, welcome to my second tutorial on trigonometry for right angle triangles. Now trigonometry is always used to calculate missing lengths of a triangle or to calculate the missing angles in a triangle. Now in an earlier tutorial I explained to you that we gave names to each of the sides of a right angle triangle and that was dependent on an angle, either this angle or this angle. For instance, in a question, suppose you were working with this angle here, which I'll call theta, the Greek letter theta in general. Then the side opposite the angle that we're working with, which in this particular drawing would be this side, is called the opposite side because it's opposite the angle that we're working with. If the theta had been up here then the opposite side would have been this one down here. Now the side opposite the right angle which is this one over here is always called the hypotenuse so just write that in the hypotenuse. That leaves us now with a third side and the remaining side, the side that's now left alongside the angle, is called the adjacent side. So that's the three names given to a right angle triangle. And as I say, I covered this in my first tutorial, so if you want a little bit more detail about this, just go to my first tutorial. However, the aim of this tutorial is to introduce you to what we call three trigonometric ratios. Now, These three trigonometric ratios compare the lengths of two of these sides. And the first trigonometric ratio we're going to look at is called the sine ratio, S-I-N-E. But we actually drop the E off and just write S-I-N, but still call it sine. Now the sine of an angle, theta let's say, compares the opposite side with the hypotenuse. That is, the opposite side, I'll write it just as OPP, op, divided by the hypotenuse, hype we'll say. So the sine ratio of any angle compares the opposite side with the hypotenuse. There's another ratio called the cosine ratio, that's C-O-S-I-N-E, cosine ratio. But we tend to abbreviate this to cos for short. So the cosine of any angle or cos of any angle compares the adjacent side with the hypotenuse. So we'll just write that in as adj over hype, the adjacent side compared with the hypotenuse. And the third trigonometric ratio that we're going to look at is called the tangent ratio. That's tangent ratio. But we drop the last part of this and we call it the tan ratio for short. The tan of an angle always compares the opposite side with the adjacent side. So that's the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now you'll find these three trigonometric ratios, sine, cos and tan, on any scientific calculator. Now here's a typical example of a scientific calculator and you'll see the three trigonometric functions, sine, cos and tan, here on these three buttons. And we'll be using these functions to calculate the lengths of any missing sides in a triangle. You'll also notice, by the way, above these three buttons other trigonometric functions with the words sine, cos and tan on them. But they've got a little minus one to the top right hand corner. They're actually pronounced inverse sine, inverse cos and inverse tan. And that these functions are used to calculate angles in triangles. But I'll show you how to use these functions and how we calculate lengths and angles in a later tutorial.
But for the moment, as I say, the aim of this tutorial is just to introduce you to the three trigonometric functions. And you've got to learn what these formulas are. Now, it's quite often difficult for people to remember things like this, so we have few ways that people remember them by. And one of the most popular ways is a phrase which is pronounced Sokotoa. I'll just write it for you, Sokotoa, like this. And what this is really trying to do is to remind you that the sine of any angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And the cosine of any angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And similarly, the tangent of any angle is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So you might find it handy then just to try and memorize this phrase here, Sokotoa. There are other ways though that people remember these three trigonometric ratios. Some people invent rhymes. A popular one that some of my students use is sailors often have curly auburn hair till old age. Sailors often have curly auburn hair till old age. Or you could have some old hag crushed all her teeth on asparagus. I'm sure there's many more that some of you might well have come across. And if you double click on the arrow on this video, it should take you to the comment section on YouTube where you could possibly add your own rhymes and tell others which ways you have of remembering this. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of this part of the tutorial. So as I say, in my next tutorial, I'll show you how we use these trigonometric functions to calculate the lengths and then the angles of any right angle triangle.